Fox rule. On Monday, November 18th, Susie sends an offer to sell her house via FedEx Express to Terry for the amount of $250,000. Susie, I am offering to sell you my house in the amount of $250,000. Please let me know if this amount is agreeable to you. Thanks. Terry. The letter is sent Monday, November 18th and is delivered to Terry on Wednesday, November 20th. On Wednesday, November 20th, Susie receives Terry's letter and replies with a text message that she accepts the offer for $250,000. Later that same day, Terry gets a call from her realtor that she received another offer on her house. Hey Nate, we got a message from the realtor. Hey Terry, it's your real estate agent, Bob. Today's November 20th. Just give me a call and let you know you got another offer on your house for $350,000. Just give me a call back and let me know what you'd like to do. Thanks. Bye. Sweet, we should say that one instead. On November 24th, Terry and Susie meet to talk about the contract. Hey, Terry. Hey, just like I gotta go. Hey, Susie. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. So I just wanted to let you know that I got another offer for 350. So it looks like I'm gonna have to cancel the contract. With you. I'm sorry, but it's such a better deal. Well, I'm sorry, but. You didn't specify the method you want me to reply, and I sent you a text message as soon as I received your letter, and that's faster than FedEx. So I think you still have a contract. Oh, are you serious? Yes, $250,000. <laughs> as of Wednesday, November 20th, there was a contract and no revocation because the offeror didn't specify a method of reply. If the offeree uses the same method as used by the offeror or faster, the mailbox rule applies and the contract is formed when acceptance is sent or dispatched. If the offeree uses a slower method than used by the offeror, the contract is formed when acceptance is received by the offeror. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I cannot wait to move in here. hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Are you kidding me? This house is worth like a million dollars. It is. All 12 of my kids are going to love this. There's just so much room. There's you will. Golf course over there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, thank you so much. I cannot believe this. Thank you so much. You're helping me avoid closure and damaging my credit. I'll email you the contract okay. and just return it to me. Regular mail. Okay, regular mail? That great. sounds great. Oh my god, thank you so oh, much. You're so welcome. other day about the contract and she was supposed to send it to me like three or four dates ago. What happened? You didn't hear, did you? Oh my god, what happened? My mom died like over the weekend. Oh She's daughter. like, are you kidding me? No, like, oh my god, she's, she was, she's gone. Like, she was supposed to send me the contract. So, I mean, I find this house. I can't buy it without the contract. So, she told me that means we have a contract. So. I'm sorry. She, we did, she didn't deliver the contract to you. Like, we can't sell the house now. Oh my god, what am I going to do with all 18 of my kids? In this situation, there was no delivery of the contract. There was no contract. In order to accept a, a contract, there must be intent to get into the contract as well as delivery of the contract. Dear Sue, I would love to buy your Jeep for $100. Please send me a letter with your reply. Thanks. Bob. Bob, I would love to sell you my Jeep 
for one hundred dollars. Sincerely, Sue. Hey, Bob. Hey, Sue. How are you? Pretty good. Did you get my email? Actually, I didn't. But uh, I wanted to get in contact with you just to let you know that I can't buy your car anymore. I found a different one that I like a whole lot better. And Yeah, but I sent you an email, so that was a lot faster than the way you sent me. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because I specified you had to reply in a letter. Are you kidding me? Because I didn't send you a letter. That's what it specified. I'm sorry. I guess there's nothing I can do. I guess I'll have to find somebody else. There was never a contract between Bob and Sue because Sue didn't respond in the method that Bob specified. The end! Woohoo!